the very first moment I laid my eyes on you, you stole my heart. You was me. You was always into something, trying to figure stuff out. And questions, wow, you asked plenty of them. You was mine and I was yours. Even at a young age, you gave me the strength to overcome all my obstacles. Yeah, because Leah, I was determined to be the best mother to you and for you. How could I let this little girl down? All of your life, you have heard we look alike. (laughs) Yeah, we do. Seeing you grow over the years, I am so amazed. You entering into high school, I found myself looking at you like, okay, we have four more years. As we always have, I have witnessed your tears, your laughs, your challenges, and accomplishments. Right at your side, I will always be. You over the years have figured out so much. You have realized goals must be put into place. Being responsible is important and family is everything. I look at you today, Aaliyah, as a senior, and I am still amazed, constantly reminded as you graduate that this is your greatest accomplishment. But you know what? You are my greatest accomplishment. My and that's why last night I prayed on a fallen star That you'll never have a broken heart Though the world is cold, remember who you are I pray that you'll never have a rainy day And no matter what the people say I always wondered, why did God put me on this earth? Well, I think I just got my answer. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity. I believe this to be 100% true. Having to choose the right path when the wrong path is an option is hard. But in the end, it's bound to pay off. From the time I was small, I was full of joy, lots of smiles. I loved hugs. Growing up, a lot of mistakes were made, later corrected by my mom. I know there's no way I could pay her back, but my plan is to show her that I understand. Mom, you are appreciated. It was me and my mom against the world. Even with her showing me the ropes of life, somehow I still seemed to get lost. Middle school, I was an outcast. I was bullied for not having long hair, wearing stitches, and for being tall. I started to look down on myself and to be distant to the ones who were there for me. I felt alone, even though I really wasn't alone. I took all that sadness and anger and I began to love hard. I realized that maybe getting lost is a good way to find yourself. Coming into high school, I tried out for the cheerleading team. I had been cheering and running track previously in my life, so why not continue? All of my pain turned into determination. I made the cheerleading squad. I had no tumble at the time, just pretty jumps and a smile that would scare the show. I remember trials like it was yesterday. I made a lot of friends throughout cheerleading, which gave me a little more confidence in school. Wearing my cheer jacket, for some reason, was a big part. I just seek popularity, just to see what it felt like to have people who wanted to be around you with positive things to say, instead of all negative. I had a great year. A lot of blessings came sophomore year. My mother got married. If you knew the half of the struggle, the pain I seen her go through, it was a beautiful thing, a feeling that I will never forget. I met two amazing girls that I now call my big sisters, Sheridan Taylor and Michael Buck. They took me under their wings sophomore year. The fact that we all cheered made it even better. They say blood is thicker than water, but I never thought that water could recap the benefits of being thick too. Junior year wasn't such a good year for me. I had lost my uncle. He got murdered. Didn't even make it to his 21st birthday. That was the first time I had lost someone so close to me, so I didn't know how to cope. I pushed everyone away. Seeing him in my dreams every night was my cope. The dreams began to get less and less, so I assumed that meant he made it to his happy place. At least that's what I made myself believe. And now, here we are, senior year. So much different than freshman year. Less friends, no relationship, new job, more responsibility. I opened up getting to know new and old people. Not judging off what I've heard or I already know. 
I gave second chances, not because I felt sorry, but because I've been given second chances. I'm not perfect. I have scars too. A lot of mistakes under my belt. And that's what makes me who I am today. I love you, Lee. I'm going to miss you so much. Love you, Lee. Thank you for helping me with all my health and everything and telling me to brush my teeth and everything and helping me with all my homework and everything and telling me to get outside more and helping me get stronger. Okay, first, I'm very proud of you and proud to call you my sister. I'm going to miss you so much, and our bond will never break. I love you.